One of the most exciting things about Choco Paints is its versatility. Today I'll be showing you how to get creative on linen. Choco Paints, in association with Taste and Home magazine, is looking for South Africa's next Choco Champ. Today I'll be showing you how to get creative with fabrics. You'll need pillowcases, a black bag, cardboard, stencil, choco palace, stencil brush, paint brush, artist brushes, masking tape and water. When chocoing on pillowcases, be sure to insert a cardboard to prevent the paint from seeping through your fabric. First, I'm going to show you how to create pattern and colour on a natural woven fabric using one of Choco Paint's stencils. So I put my stencil down on the fabric. I secure it with some masking tape. I use a dry stencil brush, dip it in my choco colour, use an oil rag to remove any excess paint and I start working in circular motion on my fabric, securing the stencil with my free hand. Once I see that my paintbrush is dry, I continue with my next choco colour so that I actually blend the two colours together. Some advice is for the colours to interact with each other that there's no definite break between colours. I am done with my first stencil. Absolutely stunning. And now with this stencil design, you can form a pattern repeat. So I will just find the repeat. There it is. Secure my stencil once again. Make sure that it's perfectly placed. and continue with the process and the fun. And you continue to pattern repeat both to the left or right and downwards until your entire pillowcase or piece of linen is covered and it looks like this. Next, I'll be showing you how to create pattern without a stencil. We are going to do a stripe, line or geometrical pattern by using masking tape. You can be adventurous with your design I'm going to keep it simple and use a plain stripy pattern. You can decide on the width of the lines and the thickness. I'm going to use either an artist brush or a stencil brush to paint between the lines, make sure that you have adhered the masking tape well to prevent any paint from seeping in underneath. And choco it. I 
have a tip. Don't stop at pillowcases. Be like me and just choco your entire wardrobe. It's loads of fun. You can have stencil jeans, stencil shirts. Don't let the fun stop. I'm going to remove my masking tape next. And how beautiful is this? I'll show you the final end result in a moment. Many of you have asked me about care instructions. The important is to iron at the back once the paint has dried completely with a warm iron. And if you want to wash, make sure your machine is set on a cold cycle. And then for the final reveal, ta-da-da! How pretty! Next, I'll be showing you how to dye those unwanted pieces of fabric in your house. My husband has the tendency to spill on tablecloths and this is a technique that you can do on there. First step, make sure it's a natural woven item, not synthetic. I'm going to use water, normal tap water. I'm going to use a paintbrush and first step is to wet your fabric piece. this technique on a pillowcase and to be safe I've actually put a piece of plastic inside to prevent the paint from seeping underneath and through the next layer of fabric because this is quite a wet technique and it does take some time to dry. So I wet only a section. Make sure it's a larger section than what you are going to paint onto. I'm now going to dip my wet paint brush in my paint. The colour I'm using is Simply Sapiwe and on my wet fabric I'm spreading the paint. And you can change direction as you work. At any point when you want to manipulate the paint colour and tone, you can dip your brush back in the water and spread it over the fabric piece. Now at any point, if you want to add more colour, do so. Let this be a creative piece of art, a blank canvas. And there you have it. My unbleached linen has been transformed into something that I absolutely love. Something creative, something fun and something beautiful. Something that I find myself doing all the time is looking for possibilities. Because I know with chocolate anything is possible. Anything can be transformed into something that you can love.